and welcome to a new video. Um, I hope everyone is doing okay this week. Um, I knew that I wanted to film this video today but I didn't want to address anything else before saying that um, I'm thinking of you all. Um, there are things that we can do, I've put some links to people to follow online, people to support and also a couple of recommendations of kind of where to begin. In particular why I'm no longer talking to white people about race is one of my favourite books um, so I'll make sure that that is mentioned for you down in the description as well. I'm thinking of you all um, and yeah let's get to it. I haven't actually finished Government Other yet, um, but I haven't been able to put it down, which I think says everything. It's a really engrossing read, um, it tackles the lives um, that are subtly woven together of primarily women, primarily women of colour, but also the kind of characters are all connected in a really, really interesting and unique way. It's a really, really unique book. Um, it won the Booker Prize for 2019. It's just got such an individual kind of premise, but then also I love the syntax is really, really different. You'll kind of have to see what I mean when you pick it up, but, because I'm describing it, won't do it justice. But yeah, the syntax I found and the formatting um, just really different and engrossing. So um, yeah, really, really enjoying it. I'm kind of torn between wanting to get to the end of it and then also wanting to savour it for as long as possible. I've got one chapter left to go. So um, yeah, loving it. Um, definitely keep an eye out. I have a film recommendation. So um, last, no, it wasn't last month. It must have been in March. We in my co-working community um, had started having secret cinema nights or secret movie nights which is a concept that I didn't come up with entirely. Basically everyone sits down at 8pm with Netflix open on a Friday night and then I reveal then, <laughs> which is very exciting, um, what we'll be watching uh, for that week. So we've had some absolute gems. Last week, what did we watch? We watched Silence of the Lambs again. We also watched Lady Bird. We watched The Breakfast Club. A really good mix of things. And one of my favorites was I, Tonya. Another recommendation that I've mentioned is last month I talked about the, what's it called podcast? You're wrong about. I talked about the You're Wrong About podcast, um, which I absolutely love. And one of the first episodes that I actually listened to was about Tonya Harding. So just in case she hasn't come across your path yet, she was a figure skater. So at one stage, an Olympic figure skater for the US. And she had a really, really difficult life, a very um, abusive life. I Tonya is a really interesting film because it's extremely funny at times, it's a very dry sense of humour um, but it is still kind of based on true facts. It kind of pulls you in both ways so it does make you laugh but it also is, it affects you and I kind of like the complexity I guess that they managed to convey because I think the humour almost makes the reality of her life kind of stand out. Really, really strong cast, um, which I always appreciate. I thought the writing was really sharp. I really liked the format that it was, cutting between interviews with the characters um, who were actors, but each of the characters in the present day and then cutting back to the past. I just thought it was great, really, really great. I have a YouTube recommendation for you and it is the lovely Alison Anderson. I've had a bit of a trend recently of going back and coming across YouTubers that I used to be subscribed to and culled at various minimalism kind of clear outs um, and when I initially subscribed to Alison a good few years ago, her content was very much beauty focused and I kind of fashion things but um, when I started looking into minimalism, um, I unfollowed quite a lot of accounts. But Alison now talks about minimalism and she also talks about solo travel, which was an idea that I loved the sound of from the get-go. So going on holiday just with yourself for company, so my bag. But as soon as I heard her talking about it, I thought, well, as soon as I get a partner, then 
that's it, I can't justify solo travel, like, how would anyone do it? But she's actually married, um, which I thought was really cool that she still makes a point of, obviously, when things are allowed to go travelling. And I have missed going out into the world, um, and especially travelling, so um, seeing her videos on she went to Joshua Tree. I've been to Joshua Tree once and I loved it. She also went to Oman. I think she went to Jordan. All sorts of really interesting and beautiful places around the world. And I just find her really inspiring and um, really calming. Uh, she also talks about photography as well, so that's another of my passions kind of ticked off. And yeah, I think if you like what I make, then I think you'll love her. I've also been listening to the Unlocking Us podcast by Brené Brown, um, my guiding light, I absolutely love her and she has done, I think she's done some solo episodes slash I'm pretty sure she has, but she also has done some really really good interviews with people and the one that I listened to most recently was her one with Alicia Keys who I think is amazing and I just loved getting to hear her talk about it was kind of about her career but it was mostly about her life and her kind of outlook and the two of them just had a really really nice dynamic so I really enjoyed that one and I've just really really enjoyed so if you are a fan of her or even if you have yet to come across I have to do the dancing move. Brené Brown if she's new to you or if you're already a fan you will enjoy her just as much. I have one fashion item to show you which is I will probably do a cutaway um, it is this beautiful bralette which I was very, very gratefully sent by the lovely Organic Basics. Um, I've had the fortune to be gifted things by them before but I have bought things from them very, very happily. I wear Organic Basics um, yoga gear which I can definitely recommend from their active range. But this bralette is from their Tensile range. I've also got the Tango briefs that go with them. Um, but yes, I have a code. It's a non-affiliate code. Um, in the sense that I wouldn't make commission but it does give you 10% off and it's Anna Constein OB um, so if you use that and you're interested um, definitely take a look I love their ethics and I love their aesthetic their pieces are really really comfy and I just want to get everything which I think says everything you need to know another book recommendation just in case you haven't been following my slow tech series yet which is a series that i've been doing talking about how i've been addressing my phone usage in particular and then i'm hoping to transition into talking about switching off in general but in fact maybe i'll do a vlog sometime of me on a digital detox weekend let me know if that sounds lovely because I think it does but this is by Catherine Price and it is a 30-day guide on funny enough how to break up with your phone so even though the title sounds somewhat dramatic um, the book is a brilliant split view of not just a 30-day guide of manageable and I think accessible uh, steps that have also been very effective in helping me to become more mindful about my phone usage but it also breaks down the psychology and um, technical and sales aspects that go into why so many of us are addicted to our phones. I know that I was very uncomfortable with my phone usage. Three hours a day was my norm and now depending on if I have had a phone call throughout the day or rather a video call in the day. It tends to be about half an hour to an hour maximum and yeah it's because of this and it's been really really helpful and uh, like I say if you like the sound of this then my Sotec series hopefully will be of benefit as well and I know that I've enjoyed uh, putting it together. My last recommendation slash favourite for this month, again, just loving the dancing today, um, is a song by Moonchild and it is called On The Other Side, which my best friend introduced me to because um, she watched a Tiny Desk performance that Moonchild did at NPR 
and she was like the lead singer is you like her energy is just you and i thought that was an amazing compliment and i just think the song is really beautiful i've been listening to it so much um and it just has this really sort of sweet energy to it i just think it's really beautiful so um highly highly recommend checking them out and that song in particular and that concludes this favorites video um i hope you enjoyed like i say i hope you're all keeping well um, don't forget to look after yourselves, particularly uh, in really difficult times. It's really, really important. Um, and I will have resources, as I say, um, in the description of this video for you. Thank you so much. Take care. And I will see you again very, very soon.